You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. My very good people of Ezeobodo, today is an absolutely wonderful day. I am a very happy man. My daughter. is beautiful, isn't she? She is absolutely stunning, isn't she? Oh, my daughter, my son. Oh, my people of Ezeobodo. I say my people of Ezeobodo. Thank you. Thank you. Today, I hereby declare that my crown prince Lawrence and Tezzi as husband and wife. <laughs> you 
you may have the first dance. <laughs> Where do you think you're going to? We are entertainers. We heard that they are doing a party inside, so we want to entertain them. We dance and sing. We do what? Dance and sing. Please, please now. Listen, Mr. Man. This is not street where beggars stay. Please now. You see, I, I am blind. Eh? This is what I do for a living. Brother, if you don't enter inside here today, we will not be able to eat. Please. Please. Please, please help us.
Ja, wir klappen. Wir müssen aber doch. Wir klappen dann. Wir müssen doch brennen. Wir müssen doch brennen. One, two, three. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Let's dance now. Oh yeah, man, awesome. 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 Oh
um, what I'm about to tell you now will be a surprise to you. What is it? Adugo. Yes. I want you to marry me. And that's exactly why I've come to see you. You, you want to marry me? A prince coming to marry the daughter of a blind man? Please, don't waste my time, please. Like I told you before, my father is sleeping and you know he's blind. Let me, let me go and see him. Unfortunately, I will not um, leave until you say yes to me. And if I say no? That means you don't want me to leave. Well, it's not for me to say. Come on, see my parents. I will. I'll get back to the palace, discuss it with my father, and then come back to see you. Bye-bye. I feel the pain in your heart. I see the tears you cry. Your world has fallen apart. Sometimes Adugo, from what you just told me, you said a prince came to this village and asked for your hand in marriage. Yes, Mama. So where did you meet this prince? That he came here to ask for your hand in marriage. I met him when Papa and I went to dance in the welcoming party of the prince. Where was this part in them? Which party? Okay. What? Eh? Is you budo? Is again? Is you budo? Hey! I thought I told you people not to go to Eziobodo again. Mama, me, I don't understand why you don't want us to be going there again. You're not even explaining anything to us. I don't understand it all. I don't understand it. I don't understand why. You don't understand. <laughs> Very soon. You will understand. You will understand. Yes, you will understand. My son, what is happening to you? For a few days now, you, you have been behaving rather strangely. You hardly eat, you hardly sleep. You hardly talk to anybody. Even your wife is complaining bitterly about all these things. Please. We are your parents. Talk to us. It's about that girl. Which girl? The daughter of the blind man. Which blind man? Oh, oh, oh! The blind beggar that um, came to beg at your party. Yes, mother. What about her? That's the girl I want to marry. Come on. 
God forbid. Lawrence, are you mad or something? Hugo, did you hear what your son said? <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. uh, do me a favor, please. Go to his room. I'm sure you will find empty bottles of spirits there. Maybe, maybe, maybe some... I am not uh, drunk. I haven't been myself since I met that girl. No, I haven't. I have spoken with her and she's accepted to marry me. Then something is wrong with your head. By the way, where's the princess? I don't know. You better not let her hear you know, all this rubbish that you're saying. Yeah, Lawrence. You just want to disgrace this royal family of where? It's gone beyond that, mother. How do you people expect me to marry a girl I don't feel anything for? I don't have an iota of feelings for her. Since I got back, I've hardly slept on the same bed with her, touched her. You ought to have seen what happened the other day at the restaurant. A girl was just walking past. Because this girl did not say hello to her, she hit the skull. She's so arrogant, ill-mannered. Mom, tell me, how do you expect me to end up with such a girl as a wife? It's about me, how I feel, my future. Lawrence, do you know how far the arrangements have gone? Now leave this place. Leave this place. And don't let me hear that rubbish again. The madam said you wanted to see me. Yes, sir. Sit down. Darcy, I'm a very straightforward man. And I believe in the truth. This marriage will not work. And I found myself another girl. <laughs> Honey, I knew you were joking. And I know you love me so much. So why don't you just stop pulling my legs? That's this. Get serious for once. Serious. Now you listen to me. You're a very beautiful girl. And you have everything it takes to be an ideal woman for any man. Please. Find yourself another man. And just let me be. Please. I beg of you. No. I, I want you. I don't want anyone else. <laughs> Says, 
I said, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my son. You better do. You better do. Because this is not what we bargained for. Keep it down. You promised me that your son will marry me when he returns. You even used that opportunity to lure me into sleeping with you. Now you and your son are saying a different thing. It's all right. I said, don't worry. I'll handle it. Eh? But be rest assured that you are my son's wife. <laughs> For some time now, Lolo has been acting very strangely towards me. Even the maids no longer attend to my call, indicating that I no longer have a place in this palace. And you expect me to believe you. Igwe, you had better do something or else I'll kill myself here. I'll kill myself. I said I would take care of things. I will do something. Mm. Calm down. I'll, 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 eh? Don't, don't worry. Excuse me. My son. Um. I want you to listen to me. For about two weeks now, your mother and I have been discussing with you on the issue without any success. But we have to be realistic that according to our customs and traditions, Royalty is not allowed to marry outside the kingdom. And as far as we know, the lady in question is not from our kingdom. So I'm afraid your request to marry her cannot be granted. But father, the customs Laws, traditions, were made for man, not the other way around. Besides, you are the Iwe. You can use your position to reverse the law. Please, Father, allow me marry this girl. I love her. Mother, please. Please, Mom. My dear, what do you think? And uh, about the princess? Igwe, I don't want to lose my son. Very well. I shall send some guards to go and bring her into the palace. You don't need to bother. I'll go personally myself tomorrow. Really? I will. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome. Zigwe. You know, you and I planned this thing. And it was to the advantage of your family. But unfortunately, my son turned everything upside down. Ah. So please, I want you to accept this, this little, little gift. As a, as a little compensation. And take your daughter back. And I pray that God, in his almightiness... Hold it there! Hold it there! What are you saying? What are you talking about? That I should take my daughter home after all her exposure in this place? Huh? If I take her home, who will marry her? Who? And you're talking about this nonsense compensation. For what? Zekwe, you're taking this thing a little too far. Oh. 
After all, my son has not touched your daughter. Oh, hey, hey. Don't ever open your mouth and talk that rubbish. The few days your son returned from America, look at the, the damage he has caused on my daughter. Take a look at her. Eh? Okay, go to the uh, people. Tell them your, your son never touched my daughter. And see, see who will believe you. Look at you. Listen. Take all your private things and come, let's get out of here. Don't touch any of that nonsense. Yes, eh? Look at your routine and the milk you, you bought her to go and repair the damages your son caused on her body. Eh? Come, let's get out from here. Your Majesty, God is watching. God is watching. Is what you saw is what you read for all you inside. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's not the end of the world. Why are you crying? Useless thing. I want you, but you and your father will not listen. You want to be like a princess. <laughs> and sex. Now tell me, how are you going to face the people that you offended? Now that they have pushed you out of the palace like a common man. Princess Tessie, please, when you finish crying, go to the market or you will not eat in this house today. Princess. And where are you from? Your Majesty, my name is Adugo. I'm from Ufili's family in Ufuma village. My father can't see. What about your mother? Your Majesty, my mother is dead. She died while giving birth to my younger brother, Nana. My grandmother took care of us till date. Mm. And this uh, brother of yours, is he blind too? No. Nana is a school. He's in a missionary school. Are you trying to tell us that uh, blindness does not run in your lineage? Yes, Your Highness. Hmm. My son, Prince Lawrence, did, did he ask you to marry him? Yes, Your Majesty, he did. And um, 
What did you say? Your Highness, like I said before, my father cannot see anything. He doesn't see at all. The only person that is in the position to make any decision about any marriage plans is my grandmother. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. Well, in that case, I would like to have a chat with uh, your grandmother. You will go and fetch her right away. Yeah. Uh, your Highness, sir, I will uh, go with her and come back with her. Very good. I feel the pain in your heart. I see the tears you cry. Your world has fallen apart. Sometimes you wish you could die. But be strong, be strong. My granddaughter will not marry you. Go and tell your father the way I said so. You people should leave us alone. No? Mama, Mama, take it easy. Eh? Oh, no, Abia. He's our guest. Mama, please. Allow me marry Adogo, and I promise you, I'll change your life forever. Who is asking you for a change? I like my life the way it is, so leave us like that. Mama, you really sound as if you have a problem with my father. Even if you do, Mama, for my sake and Adogo's, forgive him. Come answer him, please. I beg of you, please. <laughs> you said your father, Digwe, wishes to see me. Yes, Mama. I will go and answer him. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mama, you are welcome. And who is this um, gentleman beside you? My son. Ah, you are welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, Mama, did your granddaughter tell you why I invited you? Yes, Your Highness. What do you say to my son asking your granddaughter's hand in marriage? Well, Igwe, I am going to accept your uh, son marrying my granddaughter on one condition only. And, and uh, what is this condition? I will accept in the presence of your family members the elders in council and the villagers at large. We are trying to see if your granddaughter is suitable for my son and you're here giving us a condition. We are not playing here. Suitable? Lolo, I said I'm sorry. We are not begging your son to marry my granddaughter. Mama, whatever the condition is, consider it. Uh, uh, Father, please, let me handle this. Gods! Gods! Quickly, go. Summon all His Majesty's elders in council. Ask them that His Majesty requests their presence in the palace right away. Alright? We need to okay? Hurry! Go! Hurry! Mother, it's okay. What do you think you're doing? Father, it's okay. Let me handle this.
my people, we have visitors from Ufuma who have something to tell us. Um, you are all witnesses to what happened between my son, Prince Lawrence, and Tessie Nzekwe. And now, my son has made his choice. And the grandmother of the young lady who was chosen uh, wants to tell us something. Now, woman. Thank you. Ibe. People of Eziobodo, I greet you all. I am Mbechi Kwere Okonkwo, the wife of Let Ufele in Ufuma Kingdom. Your Igwe son, Prince Lores, wishes to marry my granddaughter, Adugo. As you can all see, her father is blind. And to tell you the truth, he is a prince from this kingdom. Hey. The son of your late king, your late Igwe, Ezenaya. Woman, is this a joke or something? I'm not joking. You see, several years back, as I was going from my father's house back to my husband's place very late in the night, the road was very lonely. I was frightened when I saw vehicle lights coming towards me. I ran into the bush and hid. This place is a very dangerous place. Nobody passes here by this time. Let's do this. We can go back to the palace. Oh. What? Oh. I still wonder why His Royal Highness Iwe Ezeka Oranusi want to wipe out all Ezena's family. The other day, he sent us to go and arrange assassin to kill Iwe Ezena. Now, Lolo, Dibugo, and Prince Chubuzo came back. What do you think you are doing? This thing, we don't have time. And why didn't you consider all this before you are set to do the job? Why? Listen, we must. We must finish what we have started. Do you understand? Now let's go. Yeah, dude. 
lá em cima. I hope he's eating very well. Yes, he's eating. Well, he's trying. Okay. Mm. Are you going out? Mm, yes. I want to go to the bush to get some herbs, which I used to prepare some medicines for Chibuza. Okay. But tonight, do you think he will see later? Don't worry, don't worry, he will see. He don't know what he went through in the hands of those fools before they brought him to that place. Besides, you said they, they retired his eyes. So it's a matter of time, he will see. If you say so. Mm, please let me rush so that I'll come back quick. Yeah? Okay. Please. Uh, uh, Please. Uh, 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 Please. Uh, 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 Take your mercy. Uh, 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 Mochi. Yes, and I. Please take good care of this boy. <laughs> and don't forget to take him back to his people when he grows up. Nai, <sighs> why are you talking like this? My son, you will grow into a full man <laughs> and take back what belongs to you. You are blessed. I... Mochi... Yes, and I... Please take him inside. I want to rest. I... Yes, mm. There is something I want us to discuss. What is it, Mama? I want you to get married. Look, I have seen the girl. I have uh, spoken with her and she has agreed to marry you. You come on, you do it for me, oh? <laughs> Mama. Huh? I, Chibuza, getting married. Yeah, now. <laughs> At this age? Mm -hmm. Bunny, Mama. Bunny. But, Mama, you know I'm still a young boy now. Eh? What do people say about me? I know, but you have to do it for me and for you. Eh? Please do it for me. It will make me very, very happy. You know? Pico, no. Pico, one. Pico. Pico, Pico. Okay, yes. Mama. <laughs> if you say so, <laughs> I will do as I have said. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Look, we are going to see the parents. Oh, she's a beautiful girl. <laughs> you will like her. I trust you, Mama. I trust you. <laughs> No. Mama. Uh, you can't be Mama. tired, my dear. You I'm can't be tired. Oh. Uh, 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 I think it's time for us to go to the hospital. Nugo. What, Mama, uh, can I come with you? No, you cannot come. Stay and look after Adugo, no? Uh, please. Uh, Adugo. Yes, Mama. Once your father is tired, eh? 
You take him inside. Lock the windows and doors. Lock them very, very well. Oh. Don't open it for anybody. Oh. Okay, Mama. Who's Okaiga? Okay, Mama. Oh. Mama. I will. Oh God, how oh, I wish I can see, to see how my wife feels. Who is that? It's me. Huh? It's me. I said, who is that? Your mother. Oh, Mama? Yes. You are back. Oh. How is my wife? Your wife gave back to a bouncing baby boy. A bouncing baby boy? Yes. Where is he? Yeah. I want to touch him. Yes. <laughs> oh. Hold him well. <laughs> So that he doesn't fall. <laughs> My son, your name is Nana. You are the true son of your father. Oh. And where is Amara? Is she still at the hospital? Uh. Mama? Uh. I said, where is Amara? Uh. Mama? Where is Amara? Uh, Amara! Uh. People of Ezio Bodo, that is my story. This blind man is your prince. This fair girl sitting beside him is Hadugo, his daughter. And he has a son, oh, Nana, that is in a missionary school. He is your prince. So, I am from this town. <laughs> Mama, so this is why she always refuses coming to this town to perform. <laughs> I wish I had my eyes. To see this animal that killed my parents and made me blind just because of position. Position. I had to think that we were living in that kind of a house before. Can you imagine that this is my father's compound? Before I just weekend. Before I just I just really weekend. But I wish you had the eyes. So that you can see what you turn it on. I wish you could just open your eyes and see. And woman, woman, but 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 he, he was not blind before. How come this blindness? Like I said, when I picked this boy, there was blindfold. And when the blindfold was removed, we found that there was some substance rubbed on his eyes and a uh, uh, piece of cloth. And that caused his blindness. So who was responsible for killing Igwe Zenme and then kidnapping Lolo Dibugu and her son, the prince? Uh, I said that. I overheard the guards. Uh -huh. When they said that it is Igwe or Ranusi that sent them. Hey!
Igwe, you heard all the things this woman has said. Are they true? <coughs> you are not saying anything. <coughs> so it is true. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Which she knows are untrue. And you accepted it from her. Oh, my people, I am disappointed in you. God! Yes, Your yes, Majesty. Get this woman and her grandchildren, four children, blind. They've been all out! They've been all out! Lies! Who? Ezekiel! Big lies! What are you talking about? From the day you ascended the throne, I began to see blood flowing in the land. Hey! I challenge you to prove your innocence. Prove your innocence before the people of the table. Mom! Yeah. Prove your innocence. Yeah. Prove your innocence. Yeah. Defend yourself against all the accusations made against you. Swear. Swear to this of If something happens to you, then we'll know that you're innocent. Swear! Come on! Take it and swear! 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 People of Ezebado, that woman is very, very right. Rubbish. Are you not very rubbish? Hey, what are you doing? I thought you'd be certain. Why are you shouting at me? I have come to possess my possession. My husband. What possession? Hey. What husband? Who is your husband? The Igwe, your father. <laughs> While I have been living in this palace, the Igwe has been sleeping with me. He forced me to sleep with him. That if I do not sleep with him, he will not allow me to marry you. And I will check me out of this palace. Me say that? Monsieur Dominic! I accept it. Accept it. No, no, no way! I mean, how, could, how could I possibly do that? Now I am pregnant for him. Hey! Since you cannot marry me, the Igwe must marry me. What are we to do? That is the question. And the answer is come him, the king of Ezekiel Kingdom. Right or not, that throne is his birthright. Chief Priest, please, what? speak no more. Come him, because our king is blind.
according to our tradition, before we crown you a king, you must have a wife. And that is why the council of the elders and the chief priest here, we have married this woman for you. Her name is Okundo, please. I, I cannot see, but from the feelings of my hand, I can sense that you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you for agreeing to marry me. You're welcome, my husband. Prince Chibuzo is in now. On behalf of the elders in council and the entire kingdom of Eziobodo, today I crown you the new Igwe of Eziobodo kingdom. Yes. You're welcome. Hey! Hey! Oh, this is wonderful. Wow. Chie Thomas. Chie Thomas. Mm. Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty. 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 God bless you. Thank you. Is <laughs> 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 Our king is no longer blind. What you sow is what you reap. For all you do, you surely get the reward. There's no escape from the truth. Um, where is Lawrence? Lawrence. Oh. Oh, you're Lawrence. You came with your mother? Yes, your mother. Come with her, come with her, come with her. Your mother. 
it's okay, it's okay. I invited both of you because I do not want to punish you for the sins of your father. The sins of the father should not be visited on the son. I want to ask you in front of my people, do you still want to marry my daughter, Princess Adugo? Yes, Your Highness. Princess Adugo, come over. In front of my people, I want to ask you, do you love this man? Yes. <laughs> yes. Lawrence. I want to remind you that when I was blind, Adugo was my eyes. Please, treat her well. I heard you, Highness. Your Majesty, I, I, I don't know what to say. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Thank you. It's all right. Your Majesty, I want to thank you for your kindness. To have forgiven my father of all the atrocities he committed. And then to tell you that. I plan to return back to the United States with Adugo and my mother as soon as we conclude the traditional rites. I give you my blessings and I wish you well. Thank you very much. Thank you. I did to her. Once I do go to lock me inside the police cell. <laughs> hey, baby. You think everybody's like you? Eh? I'm going to meet her. Sometimes you wish you could die, but be strong. Be strong. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just for a while. Please be strong. Be strong. So. This is where I was trained and brought up. Yes. <laughs> Let me take a look inside. Okay. I 
She's not sure what you're going to do to her. How can she even say something like that? Come here. Come. Come. Look, look, Eberi. Whatever you did to me, I've forgiven you, okay? It's in the past. God has a reason why everything happened the way it did. Okay? Is she my friend? Mr. Tutu. Mr. Tutu. I like your dress. They gave me so many of them. The year is so. I'll keep some for you guys. Go, let's go inside. Okay, now go this way. Your friends? Yes. Oh. That's Adu. That's a berry. That's only. Mm -hmm. Mama? Yes, my dear. You're not coming back here again no? yeah. until I build you a house that befits your status as the mother of a king. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you. You deserve it. Thank you. Your Highness. Mama. Now you know I'm not your real mother. Mama, you will always be my mother forever. Thank you. Mom. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Invite you guys to the palace sometime, okay? I'm okay. Sure. Yeah, I will. Alright. <laughs> Chama 